Hi everybody, my name is Damien and welcome to my second video on how to for the creature follower ESP mod for Fallout 4 that can be found on nexusmods.com. If you are looking for a tutorial on how to install the game, make sure to check out the description below and head over to my first video. This is the second one. In this video we'll be covering how to fully customize and personalize this amazing mod to fit your personal preferences. Some people may want to have a certain name for their followers, some people may want to have certain sound effects, some may want to have certain behavior and I will cover those basics in this video. First of all a spoiler warning. It is extremely difficult to stay spoiler free when you're um, working with ESP files. They are core files, they will contain a lot of information about names for certain NPCs, etc. If you are spoiler sensitive, you want to avoid those. It is going to be a difficult task. And where uh, I can, I will try to avoid it by not talking about it. Second of all, you see this beautiful warning disclaimer we are diving into the core files of the game. Most important is to never change any of the values in the fallout4.esm file. ESMs and ESPs are files that are heavily dependent on each other and the ESM of Fallout 4 is the foundation. If you change anything within that file the house of cards can crumble down and corrupt your game all the obligational warnings out of the way and I made it sound even worse than a ghoul on buff out we are gonna start this thing first of all we're gonna start with changing the name it is by far the most requested thing so far so it's also one of the easiest things so you need a couple of things of course all of the links that you need will be down below in the description the next thing you need is fo4 edit type it into file search hit that search button and go to the FEFO4 edit page hit download manual manually download the file and within seconds you'll have a RAR file extract the entire content of this RAR file into the place that you would like to install the FO edit. Um, it doesn't have to be in a Fallout folder, I just really like it there. I already have it installed as you can see right here. So click OK wherever you want to install it. I will skip that step since I already have it and we will get right into modifying the actual files. First we're going to head over to Fallout 4 shortcut. The uh, ESP file works with the Sean folders. We need one of those. So I will grab the cat because, well, I used the cat in the previous video, so why not in this one? And um, I will paste a copy. Once you have that copy, give it some really epic name that you would like. Um, like I'm going to call it Custom Cat, Sean Custom Cat and open the file. So within this file you see a lot of communication that is made for the console. The ESP is going to automate this process and will link everything with AI and settings etc to it but it will also by default set the name to Sean. So we are going to remove the line set actor full name with the reference ID, delete that line Make sure you save it before you close it. Once you've done that, you are pretty much prepared to start the actual modding and changing the big file, the ESP file. Head over to where you've installed FO4 edit, open the execute and a list will pop up. We want to select none, only select the Sean file this is the dreaded Fallout 4 file, do not select it, don't don't mess around in it, just stay with the shown file and hit OK. 
FO4 edit will load in all the information that is located within this file. It will still load up Fallout 4 because it needs those references. Um, we are going to click the plus for Sean and go to non-player character actor. This is where all the attributes of your follower are located. So click on the Venison or Ref ID and you will see the list of everything that makes this follower your follower. First thing you want to do is uh, scroll down until you come to the point where it says full name. A warning will pop up as soon as you double click it. Um, it will warn you with the same thing that I've just said. Just, you know, click yes, I am absolutely sure since we're just going to change the name and it should not have a real impact if you have opened the correct tab for Sean. So, yes, I am absolutely sure. It will highlight the name of the creature and um, give it some awesome name. My cat is named Jackster. You've already seen it probably in my first video, and he's mad jelly if I don't put him in the game. So, type in the name, hit enter. The name of the ESP file, Sean ESP, is going to highlight in black. This means that one of the values within this file has been changed. If we hit close, you get the option to save the changed file. You can also back up any plugins that you would have. For now, we're just going to hit OK. And you have now officially edited the name of your creature in the game. So what you want to do now is the exact same steps as you have done before. You're going to go to Nexus Mod Manager, make sure that Sean ESP is selected and active. Launch Fallout 4, yes. The game will start up. Um, make sure that you boot into the game. Uh, I'll have to load one since well, there's a nice um, cone. Now you can also do this if you've already uh, summoned your uh, your follower. In that case, just mm, click instead of the cone the follower. Um, I, I haven't done it right now because I've set everything to neutral. Um, click the cone, type bet, Sean in my case custom cat, that is the file that I've named and we're going to hit enter. A lot of text is going to come up, we are not going to bother with that one. We're going to go to the map, fast travel, same as with installing the regular mod and if all goes well I should be standing right next to a stack in a few seconds my game does not always like it when I'm recording because it's set up pretty high hi Mr. Stag welcome to the party now I really want to change this guy's appearance so hit but Sean custom get again hit enter and we now have Jackster in the game uh, if you would have used the regular Sean cat, it would have been Sean. In this case, we have changed the ESP file to name this specific animal, or actually any animal that we will summon with this mod to Jackster, which is absolutely amazing. Next um, part of the video is going to be how do I add sounds to it, and make sure you check that one out. If just naming it was all you needed to know, you now know how to. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or on Nexus Mods and we will get right back to you. So let's continue with the remaining part of the video, naming and AI tweaking. Of course, we want to have a little bit more customization. We want to have sound effects that suit the animal. It is all possible within the ESP file and with Fallout for edit. So again, make sure that you only select the Sean ESP. Hit OK. Let the FO4 edit load it. Hit the plus it, Sean. Go to non player character actor and click on the Venison or the Ref ID. Now 
you will see a lot of very very weird words so what do they mean what do they do it is way too complicated to explain every single thing right now so i will link um this page will explain pretty much everything what it does what it will do what it won't do so make sure to check that one out if you want to go even further in depth for now we are going to stick to the sound effect like I named my cat Jackster, it now represents my cat. However, it still has the audio template for dog meat. Um, a cat that sounds like a dog can be funny, but I want to have it more realistic, so double click it. Yes, I am absolutely sure that I want to change this. Now we have to find the appropriate audio file. In my case, um, how could it be? It is a damned house cat, which is pretty much a DMND house cat. If I click this, the name Sean ESP will turn black. It means that we have changed one of the values, and in this case, it is what sounds the creature will emit. If you save this file right now, um, all you have changed is just the sound effect. But what if you want to have it? Um, want to give it some combat AI uh, you can do that absolutely by scrolling up the creature a lot of them will actually start to attack anyway they have a, a basic combat system um, already built in if that does not work you can go to attack race and choose the actual race that you would like to enable so we're gonna right click on the bar hit add and it will start with a null, null reference which is pretty much the basic it will look at the animal and try to fit the appropriate response in fight if that is not the case click on the arrow below and this will show you all the different races that we have we want to have a cat so again we're gonna go to the cat race uh, we'll click this and and now it should respond in a fight like a cat which pretty much means that if the going gets tough the cat starts running like crazy it's pretty much like my cat so I'm gonna leave it this way you can of course go for uh, all sorts of different attack patterns um, if you want to have it uh, act like Deathclaw uh, just m make sure you put in Deathclaw um, or you can put any of the other ones in I hope this clarifies everything. All you have to do is change the value, make sure that you don't use or change any of the numeric uh, values and everything should be fine and should be pretty safe. The page that are, is linked will go into this subject a little bit more depth uh, than I will do in this video. It's just for the follower and how to you know, make it act like the actual animal and, and look and sound like the actual animal so this is pretty much it if we hit the close button select Sean ESP to save the change file and hit OK we now have our ESP file for this mod changed if you do the same process as you did before uh, go into the game select an item for the reference ID and uh, in the console you type your bet uh, and your special name Sean custom cat in my case it will now be a cat that meows that has the idle sound of a cat that has the full behavior patterns of a cat during a fight and it is freaking sweet of course again if you are going to experiment with this and you're not sure what you're going to change make sure that you have a hard save back that save up because if you are going uh, back to the version of your previous ESP the non-modified one you are going to need a pretty clean save otherwise it, it might corrupt there's a small chance I hope this explains pretty much all the stuff that you wanted to know if you have any questions make sure to post them in the comment section of my YouTube for now, I wish you the best of luck and uh, happy trooping out there. Enjoy the wasteland and see you online.